Well, I was hoping that someone would catch on to my little trick, my little, my little statements here. Now, I'm going to help you out. Where's my yellow? That's a bar of gold here. There's a bar of gold here. All right, you guys, what is the pressure if you're a human being down here? Let's go ahead and delete that. You're a human being down here. All right. What is the pressure on you at the bottom of the there? And you're in the sand or right on top of the sand. Your feet are right in the, right on the beach, the ocean beach. What is the pressure on top of you? How much pressure is on top of you? How many of you would say 6,000 PSI? 6,000 PSI is what you would probably say, right? Per square inch on your surface. You'd probably say that. But I'm showing you where it's going to cancel out. That's in a future video, a longer video about the sub, how this weight, when you're down here, it cancels out. It cancels out besides the pressure on you. Why do I say that? Well, let's just go ahead and I'm going to have a little fun first. I'm going to give you a bar of gold down here. This bar of gold weighs 100 pounds. It's got that weight on it you just said. The bar of gold, the top surface area, it happens to only be one inch thick. And it's, it's one square, it's uh, 10 inches. 10 inches by 10 inches. So it's 100 square inches. It's 100 square inches for you guys like that. All right, it's the top of the top of the gold. So that would be six thousand pounds times one hundred square inches. Could you pick that gold gold up? You just told me it's six six. It's uh, it's on the flat. It's on the ground, so there's no pressure underneath of it. It's on the dirt there, on the sand. You told me it's you got six thousand psi on you. So is there any way you're gonna pick that gold up? And it's hundred pounds. Well, how about I just lighten the gold up for you? We're just, we're running a special. We got gold that acts like 100 pounds, but it only weighs one pound. All right, we got the one pound gold special, but you're going to get 100 pounds if you can pick it up. But there's a surface area on it, 100 square inches. 100 square inches, could you pick it up? Well, let's just think about that. Hmm. That would be 100 times 6,000. That would be 600. Yeah, that's it. I'm sticking with that. All right. So there's 100 square inches times 6,000 PSI. Can you pick up, pick up the bar of gold? You sure can. You know what they picked up down there? They picked up plates down at the Titanic, picked them up and put them back and everything else. It turns out that that 6,000 pounds... It's just equal. It's just like you walking through there. You're just gonna. You're already down there. It's already down there. It's six thousand pounds everywhere, but you can move it because it's six thousand pounds here, here. It's everywhere, and you can just slide the plate around, move it around anywhere you want to. Throw it in a basket and take it up with you, because it only weighs six thousand pounds. No, it only weighs what the plate weighs. That's why they're able to bring up that dome. Remember the dome was down there? How are they able to bring up the dome? The dome weighs 3,000 pounds. If you do the surface square foot on it, you guys would tell me that, no, it's 6,000 PSI per square inch. There's pressure on top of this dome. There's no way, and it's sitting on the ground there. There's no way you can pick up that dome. Not with that machine. But it's all equal. It's all equal. You just got to pick up 3,000 pounds. That's all you have to pick up. That This cancels out. This means nothing. That 6,000 pounds per square inch means nothing. It's the new atmosphere. This is the new atmosphere. 6,000 PSI everywhere. This is why I'm telling you it means nothing. And this is why I'm going to show you how the caps come off so easily. Yeah, there's 6,000 PSI pressure all around. But it meant nothing. The sub can go through there. It can lift itself up with little jets, little turbines, little little thrusters. All right? It can float by losing 60 pounds of weight, whatever it may be, and then float back up to the top. You can pick a plate. If 
from the Titanic. You can pick it up. What else you can do when you come down the Titanic there? The thrusters come down. What does it do? It kicks up sand. And the sand does everything in front of the camera and everything else. In front of the cameras. Well, how's that possible? Those are grains of sand. How are they going through? It weighs 6,000 pounds of weight on top of it. 6,000 PSI. So the grain actually doesn't hold 6,000, but, you know, relative. It's an inch of grain sand coming up out of nowhere. Each grain being an individual, so that doesn't work really. So the plate, you can pick up the plate because it, you're in that, the atmosphere is 6,000 pounds. It doesn't mean a thing. It's different. It's different down, it's different thinking, different dynamics than, than what you may think about what you're told about the PSI that's on there. You'd never be able to pick the plate up, would you? Because the plate would have 6,000 pounds per square inch. You would not be able to pick it up. Yet they pick up, they bring back stuff, debris and all that stuff back from the Titanic. And they don't have these million pound arms picking it up with strength and all that and joints. No, 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 no. It, no problem at all. Picks it right up. But there's 6,000 pounds of force trying to crush, buckle in this tube. Therein lies the problem. But if I can reach down with my hand, I can just move that tube anywhere I want to. I'll move it around. If I can just reach down there, I can move it all around like nothing at all. There's not 6,000 pounds of weight on it. It's in a 6,000 PSI atmosphere, just like you and I are in a roughly 14, maybe 15 pounds, maybe 13 pounds of pressure, depending where you, where you sleep at. So you've got... No, I wouldn't know about 13, 14, and some change of sea level. So, uh, negative sea level, you'd be out in California, down in the cave. Oh, wait a minute, don't go down that, that rabbit hole with me. I did the PSI in a cave once. Drove myself crazy with the numbers that I was getting, going, okay, I'm trying to figure that out. So, the pressure here is water pressure, but... It is be it be water pressure only if you can displace it. All right, only if you can displace it. This is six thousand psi of water per inch weight. All right, it's not really a pressure holding a plate down. This is water. This psi is really weight. Six thousand psi weight. Not really pressure, even though I'm saying PSI. It's not, so it's more, more like 6,000 weight per square inch. Wait a minute, but then you couldn't pick the plate up. Remember, that's his atmosphere. That's where it'd be living, right down in there. That's all this neutral for it. That's all neutral, neutral location. That's why you can pick the plate up. So all around this, this uh, vessel is an atmosphere and the atmosphere it's, it's going through, just like an airplane, it's going through 6,000 PSI as it's interpreted as the weight, right? But if it's all thing being equal, Pascal, then it's somehow pushing up. But you're just avoiding the water, that's all. So if you're somehow pushing up, well, then the weight, there's, there's no weight here, is it? Or is there? You're taking a place. You're filling in that spot. So you're displacing that water that was there a second ago with your submersible. The area around there has to take on the weight of all that water that's around it. It wants to close in in multiple directions. Now, it matters about the head, this head here. But remember, it wants to close in multiple directions. And that includes this direction. Let's clean this up. So that includes, let's, let's look at the dome only. So it wants to close in here, but it also wants to, the water, the water wants to close in every direction. All right, it's a subby sub. So it wants to close in in every direction, just close in. It's just a tell it wants to do. All right, that's, that's all it wants to do. So if it wants to close in, or say this zone here in the front here, right here, just picking the head, it's titanium. Well, it can't really close in. It can't push the titanium. It can't do jack with the titanium. Over here, maybe it can do some deflection right about there. 
but it's equal. Remember, all this is just equal pressure, like you can pick the plate up. So that means that this still weighs 3,000 pounds down there, but it's a little bit, you know, floaty with the back end here. This end wants to, is lighter than the end down here. So this, this end is lighter, but it's got the floating device down there. Oh, wait a minute. It's got a battery down here. It's got other weight down here. Hmm. That puts a force coming down like that. On this one, just because it, it weighs so damn much, it puts it down like that also. But it wants to do that. It still wants to rotate down, right? The head wants to do two directions, actually, depending if it looks like this, this profile. It wants to rotate from here and outwards. If they go level, well, then it just wants to shear down right here. Okay. So picking your poison, and then it wants to pull away from the glue there. And there's a the pressure right there. It's everywhere, the 6,000 PSI. So our caps way too damn much. The one thing that everybody loves so much, the interface and all that, is the weight of the caps are also the depth of the vehicle also. They weigh so damn much. that We get the bladder failure. Could we get the bladder failure? And then the caps, um, water getting under there and breaking, pushing the caps away. Just a little bit which I'll do in another video. But again, you could pick a plate up down here. With all that PSI weight on it, plate laying down on the ground with some gravy on it, some sauce and dinner. You could pick it up. If you were down there, if you could swim and walk around, you better grab the plate and pick it up. Pick it up where you want to. How do you know that? Again, look at the sand grains just being tossed around in the air down there. I said in the air, in the atmosphere down there, when they come down to visually it's all bad this dust and sand just starts blowing up it starts blowing up again so did they create a six thousand pound thrust of force on that stone no not at all it's the atmosphere it's in the atmosphere that's where it lives that's is it's that's is this this whole system is the hydraulic system the entire atmosphere down there that is the hydraulic system you're inside of it at that point and so there, there is no, you can't feel the difference of pressure. The, the stones can't. They're not crushed and locked together where you can't pick them up, move them around, toss them around. You know, you can see a fish going through there. It's not so 6,000 psi, so dense a fish can't go through it. No, it's, it's part of the fluid around the fluid dynamics. It's part of the atmosphere. Very hard to explain, but hopefully you, I explained it there. That's why you can pick up a dish. Even though it's got theoretically 6,000 pounds per square inch on that dish. Not true. Not true. This tube, the surface area of that vessel, the, the, the closed into part compartment, this compartment here is, what, is what's displacing the water around it. It wants to close in. The water wants to close in. And fill that void. He, he's in that atmosphere. That's his submarine, the Nemo. I don't know how to do Nemo. Nemo. Captain Nemo. I thought it was like a Captain Nemo. How come I feel like there's, an, there's not an O in there? There's an IE or IOE or OE. I don't know. There we go. Captain Nemo. You Captain Nemo in there. And you're going through this no problem at all with your slight bit of thrusters. Just like a grain of sand going through there. No big deal at all. No big deal at all. Nothing's stopping you because everything's equal around you. You can clearly go around. Everything in there is equal. Just normal pressure. You can go through and swim through it like a fish with just a little bit of thruster action. Real easy. Nothing's stopping you in front. So think about that. Nothing's stopping them in front. When they go forward, they're not going through a 6,000-pound wall, a sheet of, sheet of, uh, of a sheet of um, a wall of 6,000 PSI. They're in it. They're displacing one piece to the next. And they just need a little bit of thrusters, and they just keep displacing all the way through there, through the system. They're part of the system. They displace through the system. With that said, the heads and the tail 
are 3,000 pounds, like I said. That's not for free. Not for free. It's loading on the interface rings. And the tail of this wants to drop down. Compression down here. Depending on how you're doing. The tail wants to drop down and back here. This, depending if it's flat, it could want to shear straight down like this. Oh, that was interesting. I don't know what I did there. Um, depending, it could want to shear down. Let's do the head. Let's make this a different one for the back one. Because this has that tail on it. So that wants to rotate down. The weight of it, 3,000 pounds, plus the batteries and all that. Minus the floaties. Plus add the floaties for being dense. But they kind of float. And then... So you want to get some ripping action here. Opening up. Remember it's connected there at the, t at the ring there. And then you, uh, for this one, we want to get rip action like this. But, so I have the tail end, this being probably theoretically the part that breaks off. All right there. Leans forward. Allows the water to rush in, and we get a bottle rocket action going on. Our pressure in the chamber increases. No water can come. Air pressure can't come out. It's only 15 pounds. And it doesn't matter. There's no burping going on because there's, there's no room for it to come out. The pressure is still it's about 60K. Internal pressure is only about 15 pounds. So it can't make its way past the 6K. There is no burp getting past that. When I bail shout here in real life, I'm creating an overpressure, if it comes, depending on how far it goes, of the atmosphere around you. Hey, listen to this one. You guys fart. It creates an overpressure, right? They, or it just wouldn't go anywhere. It would just stay inside you. Your farts, by default, are larger than the atmospheric pressure around them. And, depending on how far you can smell it, smell that little bastard, depending on the current or not, you might have created your own little wave, shock wave with your, uh, with your gas bubble. Okay, that's just a thought. But anyway, this is where I have the rotation like that. This is where the water would inrush. Yeah, I did not mean to pun on that. Inrush, charge this becomes a bottle rocket. Look up bottle rockets. It's really a thing. You can find it on a NASA even there. They even play with bottle rockets. So, this is why, why I have it. Because I have a reason for this. And it's in a video coming up. An exact reason for this location. An exact reason. Based on everything I'm talking about here. Weight. Battery weight. Ass weight. Uh, inclination, if it, uh, depending on how it's, it's, it's the, uh, how the, I have it kind of level there. Inclination, the, the weight of the people, did they go to the back of the sub and create more of an uplift to the nose, or did they go to the front of the sub, trying to get away from the cracking instinctively, instinctively going, so people want to know where they are. Instinctively, if you hear cracking, you want to get away from it. So they're all bunched up right here. Hate to say it. But unless you are got balls of steel and you're like me, I got to see it, got to know what's going on, let's take a look at it. There's nothing I can do if it happens. And I do it, I'm going to be, you know, very shallow breath, breathing. And I'm going to slowly peek at what's cracking back there if I can with the light. And everybody's up here. I'm going to tell them all a lie or tell them not looking good. So if you want to know where everyone was, where they were probably up there except for Rush was probably back here at the computer monitor. Or he got so shit scared that he was one of them up here also. So everybody's here trying to get away from the crackling noises. So this is the location. The way they would gather if, there was, if they heard noises, you would get away from it. Okay, and he, if it's truly the here. But I think... I think it's up here. That's what I think. And again, I base that on true information on 
the pressure testing and the pressure testing and what it reveals. And then I base it on what we notice um, coming out of the uh, water. So your people are up here running from the cracks. I think it's down here. This gets my bottle rocket idea. Bottle rocket gets me shearing away from the back end of this where this is uh, like this and then like this. So I get my shearing here away from the connection of the interface ring. This comes up as one piece because this became a bottle rocket because the injection here. All right. So, yeah. Now, now keep in mind that it, you can't just go at any speed down there. The overpressure is whatever the bottle, whatever the inrush and compression is of this cylinder we're looking at. It becomes a bottle rocket. So you would, if you want to know what how fast it can move, theoretically, just look at bottle rocket formulas. They've got them out there. How much water, you know, how much water could come in, how much pressure could come in, and then you would calculate what do you need to shear off the uh, this connection they had if it was still good bolting. So it was three bolts, so they would have to investigate those bolts, what the kind of bolts they use. You'd figure out the shear values of that. All right, so that gets you about a rocking idea. Uh, the interface ring up front here is here, and then there's the dome. Uh, screwed down with maybe 17 positions as opposed to 18. You would then have to know what, what kind of shear action would they need, what kind of force do they need inside here to break those off first. Okay, got it. And then the one in the back, that's the tricky one. That's where the air pressure is coming in, but on the carbon fiber side. So here is our inrush, I believe, right there on the carbon fiber side, not on the ring side. So that's a force that blows that off, at, keeps this as a backstop. And we see that with the, um, I talk about in the video, we see that with the um, interface ring. How good the interface ring looks as we see it come up out of the water. The one in the rear has both rings with the pump over here and maybe a little curly cue with the outside outer ring ripped off. But it presents as the part we can visually see the upper ring, inner upper ring is still in place. That would be in, a, in the uh, video I might post on Sunday or something. All right, I kindly ask that nobody does an animation of my work. An animation, I know it's your, 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 your work of art that you can do that, but it's, 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 you're, you're just a fucking thief, all right? So I kindly asked the Mike Bell not to do an animation of my hard work. You didn't fucking come up with it. You're a fucking thief for doing it. And a cock nibbler also. All right, Mike Bell's a thief, guys. He's going to fucking do it. He's going to do my, my content in that. He's done it before. The guy's an architect. He doesn't have, he couldn't, he can't really figure out this way out of a fucking paper bag besides a uh, well, as, as I, used to, I used to say back in the day, you couldn't pour piss out of a boot with the directions written on the heel. That means you go to look at the directions, the piss automatically comes out because the direction's on the heel. So he couldn't even pour piss out of a boot with the directions written on the heel. So uh, but Mike Bell, I've seen his content. He's hijacked me before, and he's hijacked other people, but he's a, he's a snatching son of a bitch out of South Africa. So there's another guy or two also, but I kindly ask you guys, do not do my do an animation of my hard-earned work, you cocksuckers. All right, so this is this is that. Now, do I post this or not? We'll find out if it goes live right now.